Okay, time to do the second generator. Let's uh, get this one ripped open. Not literally. Thought I heard something bouncing around. Gas cap. And it sounds like tools. I've had one similar to this in the past. It did okay, but from a family member. Okay, it was tools. Spark plug remover and fuel cap. And instructions off to the side. It's pretty simple with the instructions on these. And you do want to run them for a little bit for breaking, so. And don't put too heavy of a load on them immediately, obviously. But uh, like with the other one, pause the camera, get it out of the box, and uh, we'll proceed. Okay, something a little bit different with this one. Came with two instructions, two spark plug tools and multi-tool for these technically, and uh, two gas caps. Interesting. Um, obviously an overhead valve engine. There is no oil dipstick in there. Hopefully it's here. Um, again, new in box, but uh, um, something else with this, to get these out the easiest way, you roll the box over, do it gently so you avoid scratching. They pop out a lot easier. So let's get the plastic off. Hopefully there is, or does, nope, that one's blocked off. Okay, so that's not the oil fill. The oil fill will be on the other side. So these engines are drilled for both sides. And obviously it has a safety up there, don't put, don't start the engine without checking oil. And then there's also possibly bolts. Yeah, there's a bolt, safety bolts in that need to come out as well. So actually probably on this is probably just be screws. But this is, oh, right, actually the straps right here. Um, this is pretty much identical to one I did have in the past. Um, I'm hoping I make out okay on this one. Um, it is small. That's the only problem with these. Um, for a small cabin, it would do fine. If you'd run a sump pump, it'd probably do fine. It is 1,200 watts, I believe. So, yeah, 1,200 right there, GT. GT 1,200C. Um, so anyways, we're going to get the uh, oil put in, get the fuel put in, and we will do the startup. Hopefully this one starts easier than the inverter generator. Hopefully I don't need to use any persuasion with this one. But uh, yeah, so get this pulled off, get these zip ties right here cut. Those are basically just to um, hold, hold everything in place on the actual mounts. So get those removed and uh, that's pretty well it. So obviously there's no oil in it. I'm surprised this doesn't have a tag. State and do not start me without checking oil. Yeah, she's just got a tiniest drop. That's what pretty much what they use for assembly. And uh, yeah, and I think they may or may not run these in the factory, but pull forward it is right here. Yeah, there's no tag saying do not try and start me without checking my oil. It might be within that. I didn't fully read that so. There you go. So unboxing is done. Next will be startup and we'll do a light load test on this one as well. And I get to decide which uh, fuel cap I'm going to end up using. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.